Hello, this is a quick introduction to the final project for the CIS3115 machine learning course. Uh, let's start with the project description here. Um, so this project is an important part of your grade. It's 100, per, uh, 100 points, which is a significant part. Uh, so you should be devoting a significant effort to it. Uh, the deadlines uh, for it are posted online here. Uh, they may change depending on the semester. Right now it's spring 2021 and so the paper outline is due uh, on Sunday May 2nd the final paper is due uh, a week later and then the presentation you'll have two options to either record one or present at the CIS showcase uh, here um, so let's talk about the details so this is a 2,000 word or more uh, research kind of paper we call it applied research paper because we want you to do some research but also do some work with collab running some code and stuff like that so you want to pick a topic in machine learning that you want to investigate particular I uh, suggest something maybe we've done already in class that you want to delve more into look more uh, at uh, then you want to research some current literature on that topic uh, you want to state some hypothesis for that area and then do some experiments uh, in collab for that. So maybe you want to look back and you want to look at when we did some regression analysis uh, with linear regression. We had some parameters there and we didn't have much time to fiddle with those. Maybe you want to look back to some more research on those uh, or uh, maybe some different settings and then try those out. So have some hypothesis hypothesis that changing this parameter should improve uh, performance uh, and then try that out. Um, so that's in, in a collab notebook and often you'll be modifying a notebook maybe we used in a project or something else although you can create new bring in new data and do something new here also. Um, your as part of your research you should have at least two academic peer-reviewed journal articles so it's okay to use websites and other references online but you should also use two peer-reviewed journals and again you can search for those either in uh, the CS library using solar or in Google Scholar those are good options for that um, general formatting of this pa uh, paper will be APA format and you can see the sixth edition information here uh, for that uh, mainly I'm concerned about using this for citations uh, for this um, so here's the basic outline of the paper uh, that we want to do. You want to introduce the topics. You want to do a, a quick literature review, again, where you're going to talk about some of the research, some of the papers you found, or some of the, you know, give a background on this topic uh, here. And then you're going to state your position, what you think or hypothesize uh, could improve uh, this work. And then you want to describe your results, describe the simulation you r ran in Colab, summarize your findings and what you ran, and then state a conclusion, and then finally your bibliography. So that's uh, your overall layout uh, for this. So let's look at the next step in this. Um, and that is to turn in a project outline. This is due uh, initially. And the idea here is to give me, give you a chance to kind of get th some basic ideas down, and then uh, I can provide you some suggestions and some feedback uh, as you work forward. Maybe if you're looking uh, for some research articles, I can maybe point you to, to some more articles or ways of refining things. If you need help setting up your collab notebook, I can help you do that uh, for this. Uh, stuff. So basically, the outline uh, follows the outline of the whole paper here. But you, uh, I put in green, bolded in green here. What you want to do? You want to just provide a quick introduction, uh, talk about you know some research you've done. Maybe you found a couple websites or an article or something you found to give some background on the research you're doing. Uh, describe what kind of data or simulations are you thinking about uh, modifying an existing notebook, creating a new notebook. What do you want to do there? Uh, and then again, you should have uh, two key sources by at this point of time uh, to help you with this. So this is what you basically submit is just you know a uh, quick outline with mainly the things in green. Now, if you have more things done at this time, that's fine, but that's generally uh, enough so that I can give you some good feedback in uh, on where to go from this. So.
Uh, the next thing you want to look at is some possible research topics. So again, you can look back through the course and what we've done, you know, we've looked at dimensional reduction, we've looked at con uh, clustering, we looked at regression, both linear and nonlinear models. We didn't look too much at nonlinear models, so you could look at that. We looked at, you know, uh, K nearest neighbor and support vector machines and decision trees. Uh, you could revisit some of that uh, data. A lot of the newest stuff is been doing with convolutional neural networks and image recognitions and long short term memory networks and other recurrent networks uh, here and uh, the new generative uh, networks, uh, the GANs we've been looking at. So pick uh, a topic you'd like to, you know, start looking at. Um, think of what kind of data sets you might want to use. So. Um, some easy ones that we use a lot in this course, although we use a slightly different version of, is this uh, Keras data set. So these are data sets built into Keras that you can download e easily. So the mince uh, digit one here, the fashion mints are here, but there's also some, uh, you know, other uh, regression data here from Boston Housing. And there's two sets of small image data here that's a little larger than the minced uh, data. Uh, that you can do, but these are still pretty small images, 32 by 32 pixels. Uh, Kaggle has a bunch of competitions and data sets you can do. Uh, there are also these other sets that, that have data sets out there. Um, if you want to do some more cutting edge research, uh, some examples are uh, th this is an article uh, from a couple years ago, and here's a newer one talking about some of the trends out there. You know, you can research Elmo and PERT. There was a a uh, couple of the um, most recent uh, network structures were named after Sesame Street characters, so you can research those uh, on some of those topics. Um, uh, NeuralIPS uh, is the probably the largest conference on uh, machine learning in the area or in the world, and they have it every November uh, here. So they actually have their videos posted online. You can watch some of those videos, or their papers are here. Uh, so you can look through some of their, their videos and papers if you want to look at some more cutting edge research, get some ideas. Um, this is just a visualization of their papers. You can also just look at uh, browse their papers here, but this is a visualization and you can just see uh, different papers and what they will would learn. I don't know why that's not working, but you can look at them and click on them and get more information on them. So like this is auto encoders and then all the papers around this will be related to that sort of field uh, here. Um, and this is uh, adversarial neural networks often, so this area is probably all on that. Uh, and again, there's... Okay, so my internet went out. Sorry for a sec. Um, so again, there are a bunch of videos from NIPS uh, 2020 uh, here, and there's actually ones from the previous conferences also. Uh, that you can look at. Now, I'll just warn you that a lot of this is pretty advanced work. The papers are, you know, graduate level uh, reading generally, uh, but it could give you some ideas of what you might want to uh, research if you're interested. So, that's the basic idea. If you need some more help, here's just some specific ideas uh, you have. So, maybe you want to look at k mean clustering uh, and apply this to more maybe images. So, Keras has their CIFAR 10 small image database. Maybe you want to hypothesize if k-means uh, can actually learn to classify those images pretty well. Uh, so you can modify, you know, maybe our existing k-means notebook to use this data set instead uh, and make an hypothesis. Or, you know, make some hypothesis of some changes in k-means uh, for that. Um, maybe you want to do look at GANs and look at colorizing black and white images. There's a large Kegel data set. Uh, you can grab you probably just don't want to use this whole thing, just uh, a part of it uh, there. There's c a couple different ways of doing this. UNET is a uh, one way and we've looked at GANs, uh, so maybe you want to compare these or look at one or the other and some model of these. Uh, and again, with the Kegel data set, there are actually sample uh, um, uh, notebooks out there that's already get got a start on it. So again, these are just some different ideas. I'll try to post a couple more. I'm going to try to select at least one of the Kegel challenges that's currently open that uh, might be a good one to look at, and I'll post those. That is option four or five. Okay, so those are some ideas. And then the last thing, let's go back here. On the final project is we talked about the topics. The final paper, this is the where you actually submit the final paper as an assignment. 
Uh, and then the presentation. So you have two options for the presentation. We have a CIS showcase uh, where all the CIS faculty and students from all the different classes get together and share uh, their work. Uh, often these presentations, well I only know they're somewhat presentations that have to be relatively quick because there are a lot of them. Uh, this year we'll be using Zoom uh, for this and giving out door prizes. It's kind of a fun event uh, that you can attend. Then you can see what other uh, students are doing not only in machine learning but in the other courses like our app development course. Um, and then so if so I, I suggest that if you can, it's 4 p.m. on Monday the 10th. Otherwise, you'll have to record a video, do a screen recording or screen capture and submit that. Uh, and then you want to share that. And so there'll be a discussion area where you can post that and you can also submit that here. So either submit a note saying you were at the showcase, I'll be at the showcase and uh, monitoring and seeing all those presentations or uh, submit the uh, link to this video. Okay, that's the thing. Feel free to contact me and discuss options uh, for this final project.